<laughs> You're watching Vini TV, the world's most militant wine media, and your hosts are always Arto the Wine Devil Koskelo, Ilka Siren, Gabriel, and the Wine Devil Jansis. And because of the subject today, I think uh, the angel Gabriel has to go. We are gonna stick with the bad guy because what we have here is a typical rosé from the area of Provence, France. Well, not very typical at all because it's made by the the French Foreign Le Legion, uh, Légion Étrangère, as they say in France. So it's kind of interesting bottle, and what you can see here is the military insignia, the the grenade of some sort, flaming tomato, <laughs> the flaming tomato. <laughs> Be careful, <laughs> they might be watching the grenade with something going on. Anyway, I showed the bottle. I have to admit that uh, before today, I had never, ever, ever heard <laughs> that they actually make wine in the, in the foreign uh, legion. Yeah, me neither. I think the story goes something like this, that the foreign legion has uh, <clears throat> been making wine quite a long time, but they've been basically drinking by it by themselves. And, you know, foreign legion used to have this bad reputation because... Like after World War II, they recruited a lot of German guys from the SS. So a lot of CD people went, went into the Foreign Legion. But these days it's like a very professional elite, elite army, elite corps with uh, probably one of the hardest to get in. So they keep uh, fighting wars in hotspots all over the world actually. But some people uh, get wounded and some retire and if they don't have a place to go, uh, any family, so they can retire uh, uh, to this estate that is you know, located in Provence and uh, make wine. Make wine, <laughs> not war. I, I, I love the, the idea and I have, before even tasting it, I have chose yeah. to, to love it already. And I, I mean, it, this is definitely a good looking bottle, but to be honest, I can't be sure whether the wine will be good. Because let's face it, it's a different business to tend your vineyards and fight the war. I mean, if you think about it... <laughs> it's, Mm. Nurturing your wines is something different than that. You said it. Yeah. I mean, they probably are good at making napalm, but are they good at making wine? But I have to say, I respect to the foreign legion. I mean, uh, not only that they're trained, cold-blooded killers, they're wine enthusiasts, and I have to respect that. It's huge. So, this bottle was uh, given to me by a good friend who was in the legion uh, for a few years, and uh, can you say was? I think this is sort of like this uh, thing you actually never retire. Yeah, probably. I mean, you're probably part of a group always. And Some forever. sort of a brotherhood. Anyway, he gave us uh, this, bo this bottle and uh, said, give it a go. And I had to be honest and say, if, it's, if it sucks, I'm going to tell it. So <clears throat> hopefully no one First will time for everything. <laughs> throw a grenade at me if it doesn't work. But anyway, you can buy this wine yourself from an online shop because uh, the... Légion étrange, étrangère, sorry, actually has an online uh, uh, shop where you can buy some wine, and this bottle goes for seven euros. Anyway, would it be possible just uh, I'm, because I'm getting interested in it? Would it be possible? Scary. Would it be possible to actually for us to go there and then you know make the wine with the guys, or do I have to first apply to the foreign <laughs> yeah. to the the old you know the war stuff? And, and then make wine. That would be very interesting. Although I know there are a few fellows uh, who are working there and living there who don't want to show their face mm -hmm. because they sort of have this new identity, uh, new name, new life, and uh, they don't want cameras around. But if that would be possible, that would be so worth it. You know? <laughs> yeah, it would be amazing. <laughs> and I, I mean, the weather in southern France is good. It is good. And I, I'm actually wondering, like, where does their wine knowledge come from? Do they have a consul, uh, like uh, Michel Roland, coming to the guys? Hey, what's up, guys? Let's make some wine. Or is it like uh, I've been making napalm for the for the past 20 years, so now I'm going to make wine? Or how it does it work? Actually, I, I've, I've, funny enough, I have made napalm and I have made wine. And there's basically no much difference <laughs> at all. But anyway, most of the guys in uh, for uh, French Foreign Legion these days come from, I think, from uh, like uh, Northern Africa or Africa. Mm -hmm. Those are not like wine cultures by right. by themselves. So let's see how this works. Uh, is Foreign Legion the you know the group that used the funny hats? You know the the yeah, they hats. Do, and they walk in a funny way. They don't march like the typical modern military. They no. have this. What is funny? funny way? Do you know? Show us. No, I don't <laughs> know. Something like this. And one other thing, if I'm not totally mistaken, they can wear a beard. 
even ah, right. though they're you know super professional military people they can actually have a spot a beard and uh, maybe even mustache like yourself respect yeah. well <laughs> i don't think this would <laughs> kind of qualify for a foreign legion mustache anyway synthetic cork and i have no idea what sort of varieties go into this wine no idea I know they have uh, Syrah, Grenache, Mourvedre, even Cabernet Sauvignon at the estate. It's something like 40 hectares, but I don't know what's the plan because they don't actually tell. Information is given on need-to-know basis. <laughs> and we don't need to know. Uh, the cork is actually Noma cork. I don't know if you'd remember, but I visited them. Uh, it's the uh, world's second largest cork producer in the world, and they're in... North Carolina, which is kind of interesting that they're using Nomacor. So what I'm getting from the glass is this uh, rather fruity uh, rosé style. Uh, kind of powerful, but it has this secondary aromas like, or uh, aromas like fennel, something vegetable that is actually making it more complex than just a typical plonk rosé, which you really can easily find from Provence. Yeah, it's, it's not, because in Finland we get a lot of rosés from the new world, like Chile, Argentina, Australia, which are usually very quaffable, easygoing, one fruit, bam, you know. And this is more kind of restrained, uh, kind of herbal version of a rosé. Yeah, it's not a punch in your face, which is kind of surprising, talking about the military corps. And it's, well, the most important thing in rosé for me is the acidity. It has to carry the wine from beginning until the final finish, until the end. And this wine has this, this quality. I mean, it's uh, not the most uh, complex wine you can find, but it's uh, definitely mouth-watering. So it's good good to drink uh, with food or uh, just, you know, you know. Indeed. I mean, you know, in the past couple of years, rosé have kind of fallen out of fashion and rightfully so, you know, people have been drinking a lot of bad rosé, you know, uh, uh, second grade wine that actually didn't make the first blend of red wine or whatever. But this is kind of, this kind of acidity is, is what you are expecting from a rosé, you know, this kind of, like you said, mouth-watering acidity that you can actually uh, drink with foods uh, in a hot day. I mean, I'm, of course, scared shitless talking about this wine because I'm afraid someone will knock my door. But this is actually a pretty good wine. It's not like it might, it will. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think this is um, a few years ago they made only wines that cost like uh, three euros or something. So they are stepping up their game definitely because this goes for seven euros in their online shop. So I, don't, I have to give it thumbs up. You know, I came to this uh, episode and I was almost, you know, <laughs> pre-decided that I will bash this wine, you know, rosé, you know, for a legion. There's a lot of things going on that, you know, kind of doesn't really ring a bell, so to say. But this actually is a very decent rosé wine. I have to give it a thumbs up as well. It's pretty good. And I will end this with the example of how the marching goes. Well, this is my version. Can you do the music? Hmm. Dun 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 d